Hey friends.
what's showing up for me today is interestingly also manifesting in my music um, <clears throat> I'm re-listening to David Data's book uh, Way of the Superior Man which I have spoken about in my last couple of posts and I he talks about a period of reset or, or um, transition between between periods of purposeful activity and that resonates with me I get a sense of a kind of letting the fields lie fallow from my own, not, not just behavior, but from my own uh, impulses. That's what, that's what, <clears throat> it's almost like that feels like the job. If you've been following this post, you've probably seen me kind of have little <clears throat> spurts of inspiration. And they're, they're authentic. And they are, to some degree, you know, some more than others, but they're connected to, I think, a real underlying impulse in me to for how I want to serve and how I want to engage uh, with the world but what I what I feel as a pervasive kind of context for all of that is that I'm waiting for some I'm waiting to lock into this is where I'm going. And uh, I think, you know, what shows up, what shows up for me as I start, as I speak about it, you know, it's all well and good to hear a teacher or a, or a wise person, David Data or any other spiritual teacher, talk about the natural cycles of purpose-directed activity and then kind of a period of well there's not there's a lack of clarity there's a lack of being locked into the next phase but to feel that and to especially to express that <laughs> it's like it's kind of I, I feel like I have to I, I feel even as I'm even as I speak about it now I feel the impulse to qualify and justify and mitigate that feeling by saying something like, well, you know, I'm looking for overall, there's something that I'm looking for. But I have clarity about this and this and this, and I put the emphasis, I'll go ahead and put the emphasis on the things that I know. <sighs> but I think, I found this in a couple of different ways recently. Acknowledging when I don't know and or acknowledging when I'm doing something that's not that that that's that's not fully 
aligned. Actually creates the only freedom to, that I can uh, that I can see to be found from the kind of binding and almost repressive sense that those feelings evoke. Because not knowing what we're doing is not allowed for <laughs> for some of us. We're supposed to know, and but but that but that desire to know, that need to know, that kind of urgency to know. If we understand that a necessary period is a total letting go and non-doing, non-engagement, then And all that mitigation, all that kind of <sighs> justifying or rationalizing is actually precisely the thing that is deflecting purpose, deflecting the connection to the deep, deep soul purpose. And And that's something I think I have to take on. I think I have to take that seriously. Because I can definitely see where I install substitute patterns, substitute purposes out of fear. That's a waste of time. We don't know, should admit that we don't know. If I'm lost, I should admit that I'm lost. Can't get, can't get unlost by continuing to pretend like, oh, just around this corner, maybe, the, maybe I'll be found. I don't think that's how it works. So it feels a little bit like diving into a big pool of unknown, but I think it's the only way to know is to is to be honest about what about about this now moment. What's happening right now? What do I feel right now? I don't think there's another way. Substitute purposes aren't going to get me there. They're just gonna they're just gonna be distractions. So yeah, that's where I am today, people. I'm sitting with that and letting that be where I truly am. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. I'm sure there will be more to report.